Hello, this is Mr. Tio again. Uh, yes, this is the same shirt of the Pinade review because I'm making this review just after the Pinade Metropolis review. Uh, sorry for the background noise, apparently they are breaking down the road in here, or fixing. Uh, but now I'm gonna review the wonderful, 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 wonderful Calamus. So the Calamus is, was put together by German pen distributor uh, Aratrum. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, it's the farewell gesture of the head of operations, Mr. Flug. Again, don't know how to pronounce that. Apologies for butchering your name, sir. Uh, your pen idea is amazing. I love this pen. This pen is made of brass and covered with a coating of uh what's the name of this material let me check my notes again on the website sorry blah, 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 blah. Uh, yes black chromium finish and it's a push cap but it put sick very very secure capping and uh, it doesn't post but I don't post pens, so no difference for me. Uh, the nib is also black and a pretty nib. It's a Schmidt nib, but again, it's a wonderfully tuned nib. I didn't, I didn't have to do anything on this nib, just write. Uh, there's a very smart detail on the roll stop. It's beautifully done. Uh, two bands on the cap, three bands on the body. Uh, it's a some people call it a piston filler, but to me, it's a capture converter. See, it's a converter here, and there's an ink window where you can see the ink level. So it's like a piston filler, but it's a capture capture converter. The pen writes smooth and very well balanced the weight of this pen is spot on i don't like heavy pens um, i'm kind of like very reluctant on using metal pens but this one you know just uncap put the cap on the desk and write i can write five ten pages without blinking without feeling hands fatigued or not the section is really small on purpose so you hold i hold because my grip is like way on the back i hold it like here on top of the you know the bands on the body here and it has very the branding is also very subtle i don't know if you can see here uh, yes, might be able to see here the Aratrum logo. It's a pen that, again, sent me by my great friend Nick Stewart. Uh, sent to him by Papier and Stiff in Germany. And this pen, it sells, retails for 50 euros. So buy one it's a superb pen for 50 euros it it's bigger than the i'd say the caveco lily put will be the one that reminds me this pen but it's a bigger pen you don't need to cap and you also don't need to bother with the, the tiny caveco converter and the, oh, I love the capping sound. So good. Uh, yeah, this pen is amazing. 
um, buying one for me. Definitely, I'm gonna get myself one. My hands in one soon. Uh, Nick, thank you very much for sending me this pen for review. And I'll write down, do a writing sample. And I see you guys on my next review. Bye bye. So, this is the Columbus by Aratrum. It's a number five nib. Um, I think it's PDV or PVD. I keep changing, messing how to pronounce this. So, the notebook. is made for ink by my great friend Rob de la Porte and the cover of this notebook is brilliant because it's my work notebook and on the back cover is the Malus Maleficarum. Ho, 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 ho. The notebook is made for ink by my great friend Rob de la Porte. And it's available on the website madefor.ink. The pen is the Calamus by Aratrum. The ink is Robert Oster um, What's the hub Robert Oster? I need to be sure here Midnight Sapphire And the nib is smooth and wet. And although it doesn't say, it has some line variation. Don't do that. It's a steel nib. It's a black steel nib. This is the stealth pen. Tactical pen, if you prefer. And pack my bag. With fifty ink bottles. Because I love inks and I love this pen. Thank you very much, Nick, for this wonderful pen. This pen will be sent now to the rest of the United Inkdom gang that's gonna be doing a meta review on this and I hope to see you guys later bye bye <laughs>